Hey guys, what's up? It's Annie. Today I am at Montezuma Castle National Monument here near Sedona, Arizona. And I'm gonna take you guys around and show you what it's like here. I've never been, so I really don't know what to expect, but it seems like a really beautiful place with lots of history about a people, they were called the Sinagua people. And uh, it just seems like a really cool place to learn about their history and also the structures that they built um, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So we're gonna go check it out and take you guys along. So when you first get here, you go in the visitor center and that's where you can buy your pass to enter the park. They also have restrooms on the other side of the visitor center before you even get in the building. But inside the visitor center, they have a little tiny museum about the history of this place. And they also have a gift shop with all sorts of fun things. So I'll take you guys in there later. This is one of my mom's favorite things. She loves these signs to tell you about the plants that you're looking at, so you actually know what they are. When you first walk in, they have a nice paved path here. I'm wearing flip-flops and it's not an issue. So it's not like a gravel dirt path. You could have a wheelchair on it, crutches, walker, whatever you need, and it won't be a problem. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning that there were people that built these structures in the rock, in the mountain. Wow. Let me zoom in so you guys can see a little better. That is so cool. I don't think you can go all the way up there, but it is really neat to look at from down here. So right by this gorgeous view, they have benches so you can just hang out and look at it comfortably lots of shade and then it looks like they have a little tour going on a little talk on the place so you can learn more of the history there's a lot of people gathered around look at that that is absolutely stunning wow so beautiful here's another sign about the cycles of care. Around the year 1400, people began leaving their homes here. 500 years later, its walls were still largely intact. So we don't know why, but the Sinagua people, they just disappeared one day. Um, kind of weird, but their homes stayed. Their homes have lasted all this time. It's pretty impressive. It's good building materials right there. This is kind of perfect because everyone's gathered around the guide giving the talk about the area right now so we can kind of wander freely and there's no crowds. This is really pretty. Oh, what's over here? Oh, here's another seating area where I guess they give talks. I'm sure that shade is much appreciated at times. What do you think, Mom? How did they get up there? Did she say? So while Montezuma Castle right there is the most obvious structure here, there are also lots of other dwellings in this rock. There were actually around 1300, the Verde Valley, which is the valley that this is in. I thought it was probably pronounced Verde, but they say Verde a lot. It had at least 40 large villages, related dwellings and farmlands. So it was a popular place to live. What beams? Beams for the different roofs of a dwelling, each four. So they would have beams, tree trunks for each other. Why would you need a tree trunk? Because they actually had a structure that was there. Oh, it came out of the building. It came out of the rock. Oh, I was thinking it was inside. Oh. And this was different floors, so this would have been floor one, two, three, four, five. So this would be someone's home, and then this would be someone's storage unit. <laughs> was it a free storage unit? <laughs> Looks like you're allowed to bring your dog here and walk around with it on a leash, so that's good to know if you want to bring your dog on the trail.
Hi. <laughs> this is pretty. It is very low. <laughs> Could not go boating on this. Beaver Creek. really well done little trail so they had water here so they weren't seeing agua no they the had some agua so throughout this trail there are many benches which is really nice if you want to take a load off Arizona walnut tree So between 1350 and 1400, the people began to leave the valley and they moved to larger pueblos to the north and east, but they did not disappear, <laughs> as we had previously thought. We encourage you to think beyond ancient stone walls and vacant rooms to the remains of a once vibrant village, a village of people who experienced wants and needs, anxieties and fears, joys and sorrows, just as you and I, today. An invitation into this cliff-dwelling home. What you would have seen might well have been something like this cutaway model of Montezuma Castle. On the top floor, the elderly village lookout keeps his solitary vigil. His eyes search for approaching danger to those working the fields below the castle. This is really cool. So the sign here says that this diorama was started in 1951 because that was the end of the guided tours of the cliff dwellings. So they decided to make this diorama so people could see what it was like, how it looked then. That's really neat. I'm sort of obsessed with all these signs. I love to read as I go. I kind of love it more than sitting around and listen to a talk about something. It's really pretty. It's too bad they don't do tours up there anymore, but I can totally understand it. Again, they haven't done them since 1951, so 70 years ago? Long time. If you come here, make sure you put on your bug spray because I think my foot has gotten a bunch of mosquito bites. Mosquitoes are in love with me, so I really can't do anything about it. Mom, how do you say this, the name of this bush? Creosote bush? Creosote? Creosote? I think it's what it's called. Among the oldest plants on earth. It smells funny. You can smell it. Okay. I don't smell anything. Yes, it does. What's it smell like? Smell it? What's it smell like? A car. It's a pharmaceutical wonder. Wow. Treating common complaints like infections, okay, toothaches, dandruff, it. colds, body odor, nausea, chickenpox, and sprains. I can't smell anything at the moment. I think my nose might be stuffed up. So mom just told me the reason Montezuma Castle looks so good is that it's been restored. It did not used to look like that. Well, it did. But it's been restored over the years, so it looks really good. And Castle A is the one that hasn't been restored. So that's the one that you just saw the holes and the different floors. But Montezuma Castle has been restored, but you cannot go up there, so sorry about that. Don't even try. So when you walk in, you pay your admission here at the desk, and then they have a little museum, a little area where you can learn more about the people who lived here. And then there's merch, merch, and more merch. Mom is still looking at hats, even though she already bought a hat earlier today. Uh, I don't know if this hat's really me. Oh, okay. That is kind of cute, actually. It fits my head really well. Let's see what else. It actually fits my head perfectly, and my head's huge. 
I just like all these posters. I think they're really cool looking. That is a really cool poster. I love all the little people. How much are these? $14.99. So cute. Okay, I like the information about the different trees and what they use them for and they were actually labeled, which was very interesting. Yeah, that was cool. That was different from other national parks we've been to in Utah where none of the bushes or the plants were labeled. So today mom bought a lifetime membership to the national parks, which is awesome. It's for seniors, 62 and over, and they give you this senior lifetime member card that has a lovely mountain goat on it. And they also give you this lanyard that you put uh, in your vehicle if you go to a park that's an unmanned park uh, so that you can show that you have your lifetime senior pass. So that's really exciting for her. That's an $80 pass and it's good for her entire life. So she could just go to all the national parks in the USA as many times as she wants. I think that's awesome if uh, you're a senior and you want to get that. All right guys, so that ends our time at Montezuma Castle National Monument. It was really cool, we enjoyed it. Just a short little walking trail. You kind of see it doesn't take a ton of time out of your day, but it was really cool because I think the thing I love the most about it is that it was accessible to all people. So no matter how well you can walk or whether you have a wheelchair or crutches or any sort of um, issues with walking, you can come here and check it out and I really think that's awesome that all are welcome and yeah so that is all but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you in the next vlog bye